I took a mission to save Schalke in FC 25. The fallen giant of German football, Schalke 04, are facing the loss of their professional license if they get relegated to the third Bundesliga due to their heavy debt of around 170 million euros. In this rebuild, we are going to do our best to pay it entirely, simultaneously create a highly competitive team, the team able of winning Bundesliga and the Champions League. To keep this rebuild somewhat realistic, we we are going to have limitations regarding player signings. We are allowed to spend only 10 million per season on direct transfers until we are promoted to the first Bundesliga. And on top of that, we can sign maximum of one free agent and youth academy player each per season. This will be rather hard, but I think it is kinda realistic. If you want high quality football kits, Sokeraters.co is the choice. They have broad variety of different jerseys, good reviews around the world and most importantly the quality is top. I just got my first kit from Sokeraters.co and it is beautiful, elegant and delivered just in time. Don't forget to use my coupon code OBN for a discount at the checkout. Thanks Sokeraters.co for sponsoring this video. Here is the starting 11 we are working with in the beginning of the first season. As you can see we got a lot of players above 30 years old and meanwhile a lot of youngsters that are too low rated for now for second Bundesliga. We got a lot of work to do in the transfer market. We are starting to build our team from the back. First player that we are going to sign is Jonas Urbik, 20 years old young goalkeeper from Köln. And for 6.5 million euros we signed Jonas Urbik for a permanent deal. We are also going to set a scouting mission in Germany. Luckily for for us, we got 5 star 5 star scout right from the beginning. We did a massive team cleanup by selling couple of our players and loaning out most of our youngsters. Hopefully they will grow well at their respective loan spells. And most importantly we set our tactics. We are going to use counter attack at 4-2-3-1 white with high defensive line. And with the remaining cash we went and signed the best coaches that were available. I'm pretty sure that we are prepared not to be relegated to the third Bundesliga. But only time will tell. We have come to the end of the first season and we have almost been promoted to the Bundesliga but as you can see we set the lost in the relegation playoffs to Bochum 2-1 on aggregate. In terms of stats Musa Silla an unbelievable season with 24 goals and 6 assists in 41 games. On top of that he was the best goal scorer in the second Bundesliga and as a result he even won the player of the season award. And regarding youth talents in these 9 months we managed to find Theodor Janssen 66 rated center back with up to 88 potential and 3 playstyles. He does look very promising and will be promoted to the senior team in the beginning of the second season. We also have Maximilian Wagner, 16 years old, center defensive midfielder. He is also looking very good and maybe we can loan him out for one season to get a real boost in his overall. And last but not least we have Ole Franke, 15 years old right back with unbelievable 87 to 93 potential. He still has a lot of time to grow in the academy, so for now he will stay there. And in terms of our budget, we did manage to generate 12 million euros this season. So our overall club death has been reduced by that amount of money. Our budget for the second season is total of 22 million euros. But again, we can only spend 10 million on transfers. And we are going to spend that money to sign Paul Nebel from Hoffenheim. Senna attacking midfielder, 74 rated already. Only 22 years old with incisive pass technical and relentless play styles. And just like that, for 6.5 million euros we signed Paul Nebel. He will be replacing Amin Nunes in the starting 11. We also managed to find a decent talent in free agency. Felix Baslak, 71 rated right back. He is a real steal and for now will be occupying right back position in our starting 11. And yet another addition to this team. It is going to be Janssen, young center back from academy. He will be the left center back for us this season. And our next academy prospect Maximilian Wagner is heading to Turkey for a one year long spell. This season we tried even harder to clean up our squad and as 
Musa Silla joined Rangers. We are left with no strikers in the team. And even worse, we don't have a backup goalkeeper. And this season, it is going to be a madness. This time, we are only sixth in the second Bundesliga. And in the German Cup, we have been beaten by Borussia Dortmund. In terms of stats, Amin Younes had 15 goals and 3 assists. And great debut season from Paul Nebel as well. But the lack of actual strikers has definitely cost us in the league. Anyways, we got a decent growth in our goalkeeper Ubik, Janssen and Nebel as well. Slowly but surely, we are creating a reliable team that can be promoted to the Bundesliga very soon. If you enjoyed this rebuild so far, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. In terms of academy players, we did manage to find Sven Kuhn, right midfielder or right winger from Germany, 64 rated at the age of 17, with a potential up to 92. And also we got this guy Raphael Lehmann, striker or left midfielder, but his potential is a little bit less, up to 88. But most importantly, we do have 32 million euros untouched budget for this season. So I guess we did well to pay a big portion of the club depth this season. For third season we got 25 million euros transfer budget. So let's fix our problem positions starting from the top. We are going to sign Paris Brunner from Monaco. 73 rated striker, only 20 years old with overall good stats 4 star 4 star. Let's try to sign him. And we did exactly that, paying 7 million euros to Monaco for his transfer. Paris Brunner is coming in as a main striker with technical and flair playstyles. Hopefully he will be the main man for Schalke in this rebuild, especially with that potential. Potential. And this time as well we got lucky with free agents. We have found Timo Horn, we are going to sign him right away as a backup for Urbik, cause we are severely lacking in that position. And in terms of academy players, Maximilian Wagner is joining our starting 11 as a 66 rated center defensive midfielder. He is currently the lowest rated player in our starting 11, but he does have good potential. Other two players from our academy, Ole Franke and Sven Kuhn are going to be on loan this season. In Heron and Estoril Praia respectively. Our scout will spend another 9 months in Germany scouting for especially left midfielders and left wingers. This is the final 11 for the third season. And as you can see our left center midfielder is too low rated and the other problem is that we have a pretty small bench. Anyways let's hope that we can get a decent finish in the end. And this time as well, we were extremely close, but we were only 4 with 63 points. But in the DFB Pokal, we were out from the first round itself. Not a great season from Paris Brunner to be honest, only 13 goals and 3 assists. A pretty similar stats from Paul Nebel, but we are looking good in terms of growth. Our goalkeeper Urbik is 84 rated already. Janssen grew well as well as Wagner, Nebel and Brunner. We still need a lot of work to do with this starting 11. But it is coming together pretty well. And look at this gem, Sven Kuhn went up massively on his loan spell, reaching 72 rating, that was exactly what we needed. And in terms of academy players, we do have two great left midfielders in our possession. Raphael Lehmann, 69 rated, 5 star skill moves, 5 star weak foot on him and up to 87 potential. And another great talent in Gabriel Mjöring. And in terms of budget we are looking solid as well, 19 million euros saved this season, that is exactly how much money we are going to reduce from our club depth. There is one more limitation that I did not mention before. As you could have already noticed, all players that we have signed so far are Germans. And we are going to create a full German team eventually. We are starting the season 4 with the 21 millions in the budget. This time we got pretty lucky in the free agency as we have found Moritz Jens, 28 years old center back, 78 rated and he is joining us on a 4 year deal. He is currently the best center back in our team in terms of ratings and he does have block bruiser and a real play salsa name. And to strengthen our midfield we signed Alyosha Gemlein, center midfielder or center defensive midfielder from Fiorentina and we got a pretty good deal on him. Paying only 6 million euros for his transfer. But to fit our system, we are going to convert him from center midfielder to center defensive midfielder. And it will take only 8 weeks, that is pretty good. And the only academy player that is going to be the part of our starting 11 from this season is Sven Kuhn, 72 rated right midfielder with no play cells. But on the contrary, he does have pretty decent potential and hopefully he will fix our problems in the right flank of attack. And besides that, we still 
will have three academy players in Ole Franke, Gabriel Muring and Raphael Lehmann on loan this season. These players are going to be added to our starting 11 gradually. But before that, let's simulate till the end of the season and hopefully we are going to be promoted to the Bundesliga, finally. And guys, we finally did it. We are promoted to the Bundesliga. 81 points in the second Bundesliga. We won it with 17 points margin ahead of Dusseldorf. But again, we didn't manage to go deep in the DFB Pokal, getting eliminated in the third round. And in terms of stats, Paul Nebel had a season of his lifetime. 22 goals and 16 assists. That is almost one goal contribution per game ratio. Paris Brunner is catching up as well. 20 goals in the season is decent for our striker. And great season from Alyosha Gamlein as well, from CDM position, 15 and 8. Here is the team that made it to the first Bundesliga. Only one player we gotta change next season. It is our left midfielder, Hamash. But the good news is, Raphael Lehmann went up massively on his loan spell at Coventry City and next season he is going to be the starter for us. But in terms of budget, we managed to save only 11 millions. That is not good enough. Next season, we need to do a lot better. We are in the beginning of the fifth season and we have been promoted to the Bundesliga finally. But let's be realistic, a newly promoted team stands no chance of keeping 87 rated goalkeeper, an 86 rated center attacking midfielder in their team. So I decided that this is the best time for us to cash in on our highest rated players and organized a mini rebuild in our team. So we went up and sold Paul Nebel to Bayer Leverkusen for almost 120 million Euros. And Jonas Rubik, our goalkeeper to Newcastle for 86.3 million euros. So we did lose our best players in favor to save the club and that is pretty realistic. But what is not realistic is us signing Michael Becker from free agency. He's joining us as a 80 rated center back already at the age of 20 and he does have good potential on him as well. Next position that we are going to strengthen is the goalkeeper position. As for now we have no goalkeepers in our team so we are going to sign Dennis Seyman 78 rated goalkeeper from Aston Villa so Dennis Seyman is joining us from Aston Villa for 22 and a half million euros next position that we are going to strengthen is left back I don't think Donkor 71 rated left back that we have currently is at Bundesliga level so we are going to spend a big chunk of the money that we earned selling our best players to sign Tom Rothe from Brest and for 36 million euros we managed to sign him. He is currently 81 rated at the age of 23 with whip pass, bruiser, long throw and aerial playstyles. And on top of that he is the highest rated defender that we have currently. And last but not least we have to sign a center attacking midfielder because Bayern Deer is the only option we have for now. And he is only 68 rated. And that's why we decided to go with Milan Kaiser. We paid exactly 30 million euros for his transfer, he will be occupying the center attacking midfielder position in our team with Trickster and Trivella playstyles. And the player from Academy that we are going to promote this season is Raphael Lehmann, 75 rated left midfielder. This is the team for the upcoming season. Hopefully it is good enough to be able to compete in the Bundesliga. And would you believe this? We ended up the season in the third position. That is actually absolutely brilliant from Schalke. We are going to play Champions League football next season. And in German Cup we made it to the semi-finals where we set the loss to Horst and Kiel. In terms of stats it was very even season from all our attackers. 17-7 from Kaiser, 12-4 from Lehmann, Cam Lane from center defensive midfielder spot, 11 goals and 5 assists, 10 goals and 9 assists for Sven Kuhn and a disappointing season from Paris Brunner. Only 8 goals for our striker. But in terms of growth, we does look absolutely brilliant. The lowest rated player in our starting 11 is Paslak, but he is going to be replaced with Ole Franke next season. And I saved the best for last. We managed to generate 104 million euros this season. This means only one thing. We are officially out of the club death. We managed to accumulate 117 million euros 
in only five seasons whilst assembling this absolutely fantastic team from scratch. We still have a couple of non-German players in our bench and reserves. Maybe a couple of positions will be changed in upcoming seasons. But for now, we are heading to the sixth season with fantastic team. In the beginning of the sixth season we got our biggest budget yet of 76 million euros and the best part is we can spend all of it. And I decided to go big and strengthen our bench as much as I can. We are starting with a goalkeeper position with signing Linus Werner from HSV Hamburg as a backup keeper. We paid 12 million euros for his transfer. And finally we got a backup keeper in our squad. Next player that we are going to sign is Lasse Günther, left back or a left midfielder from free agency. He's 76 rated right now and can be backup both for left back and left midfielder position. Next up we are going to sign Otto Neumann from Sevilla and for 25 million euros we brought him in. He's currently 79 rated center defensive midfielder or center midfielder with incisive pass, pink pass and bruiser playstyles. He is a great backup for our center defensive midfielders and maybe he can be a starter for us as well. Last but not least we signed Kennedy Okpala from Como for 16 million euros. He is a 24 years old 77 rated striker and will be a great backup for Paris Brunner. And the only academy player that we are going to add this year to the starting 11 is Ole Franke instead of Felix Paslak. He is coming in with the same rating of 75 but with anticipate and relentless playstyles. And on top of that he is significantly younger than Paslak and has higher potential as well. Here is the final look of the team heading to the 6th season. This season is going to be tough as we are competing both in the Bundesliga and in the Champions League and hopefully our team is good enough to end this season with positive results. But sadly we are only 5th just shy of the last Champions League spot. No DFB Pokal for us as well. And in the Champions League league phase we were only 26th and were eliminated from the first phase itself. We are expecting much more goal contributions from Paris Brunner, only 18 goals and 1 assists. Good season from Milan Kaiser with 12 and 13, but that's it. In terms of growth we are looking absolutely solid. Only Franke is below 80 rating, but he is catching up fast. Hopefully next season we can perform much better than this season. This time we didn't got the Champions League money, but 52 million euros in the bank is not bad at all. And the first signing of the season is going to be Armel Belakocab from Southampton. And for 22 million euros we signed him. He's currently 82 rated and can be a good backup for our center backs. And the last signing of the season is going to be Benit Brioger, center attacking midfielder from Eintracht. And for another 22 million euros we completed this transfer as well. And after these two transfers we are left only with 1 million euros in the budget. And just like that we are accomplished our full team consisting of only German players. Here is how we line up for this season. Hopefully our team is good enough to challenge the Bundesliga title. But again we were nowhere near the first position. We are fourth, seven points behind, league winner Frankfurt. No DFB Pokal for us as well. And in the Europa League we made it to the quarterfinals where we lost to Nice 5-4 on aggregate. This time Paris Brunner has 28 goal contributions for us. But the MVP of the season was again Milan Kaiser with 18 goals and 16 assists. Although we are back competing in the Champions League, we got only 55 million budget for the season 8. And we we need an upgrade for the right back position. Cause our youngster from academy Ole Franke has stagnated in his development. And to replace Franke in our team we signed Christoph Wagner for 35 million euros plus the transfer of Ole Franke. Christoph Wagner is coming in as a 82 rated right back center defensive midfielder or center midfielder with great potential on him. We also managed to find Anton Stock in free agency although he is 32 years old already but he's still 79 rated and can cover multiple positions and on top of that he has 6 playstyles as well. So let's sign him as a backup for our midfielders. Here we have our team preparing for the 8th season with 93 rated Paris Brunner up top, 90 rated Sven Kuhn. Other players are catching up as well which does look pretty decent. Hopefully this season is going to be ours and we can win finally the Bundesliga and maybe the Champions League as well. 
Finally, we are first in the Bundesliga with Schalke, 81 points and 8 points clear of Borussia Dortmund. In the DFB Pokal, we are nowhere to be seen, but we did have a hell of a run in the Champions League as well, finishing the league phases the second. In the round of 16, we beat AS Monaco 5-2. In the quarterfinals, we eliminated AC Milan 5-3 on aggregate. And in the semis, we beat Leverkusen 4-2 to reach the Champions League final, where we are going to face Villarreal. In terms of stats, Sven Kuhn has the season of his lifetime with 27 goals and 14 assists. Milan Kaiser with yet another unbelievable season with 23 goals and 15 assists. And Paris Brunner, our 94 rated striker, is only third in our squad with 22 goals and 4 assists. Here is our team heading to the Champions League final. And overall, we does have a very well balanced squad. Even the players on our bench are really high rated. So I expect from us winning this Champions League final final quite comfortably. This VRL team does not look very scary. We are not going to underestimate our opponent. They reached the Champions League final. Obviously they are going to be quite good. And the game itself was a genuine fun. We had a ton of goal scoring opportunities but every time the ball refused to go in. After numerous wasted chances, we finally caught Villarreal on a break and in the 41st minute Milan Kaiser opened the scoring for us. Everything was going in our favor. But soon, the game just got stuck. Everybody disappeared from the field and they are nowhere to be seen. So thanks EA for an opportunity to play the beautiful game. Anyways, I think we did a pretty good job as Schalke manager. And if you enjoyed this one, click here to watch me create a team full of regions in FC25.